Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you the six steps that I use to take time-lapse videos of the stars that look like this. Okay, first off, the camera that I used to shoot that video is the Canon EOS R, and the lens is the Tokina 11 to 20 millimeter 2.8. If you don't have this camera and this lens, that's totally fine. The principles are pretty similar across every camera, every brand, okay? Also, it should be noted, your camera should be on a tripod and pointing at the stars. If you can see the stars well, your camera's gonna be able to see the stars a lot better. So, point your camera in that direction. If you are on the Canon EOS R or a similar camera, you're going to want to make sure that your camera is in the manual video mode. So you turn on the camera, press the mode button on top, and then select the video camera with the M, that is the camera video mode. Okay, now I'm gonna go through the six steps that I use to get videos like the one that you just saw. I'm gonna go fast, so if you need to pause this video or rewatch it, I hope that you will. Step number one is to change your lens from autofocus to manual focus, and then put it on infinity. Infinity is going to look like this. Step number two is to have the correct aperture. Go to the aperture on your camera and make it as wide as you can. That will be the smallest number. So for me, with this lens, it's 2.8. So I'm gonna set the aperture to 2.8. The next step is to have the correct ISO. ISO is a little bit more difficult and you might have to play around with it a little bit, but I usually stay between ISO 800 and 1600. You want it low enough to keep as much quality as you can, but you still need it high enough so that your camera is absorbing as much light as possible. Although I usually try and stay between 800 and 1600, sometimes when you're taking videos of the stars, it's just not possible. And so sometimes I do go up to 3200 or even 6400. The next step is to enable the time-lapse settings on your camera. On the EOS R, what you're gonna wanna do, turn on the camera, go to menu, click on the camera, click on the screen number two, click on time-lapse movie, and right now you'll see it's disabled. You click on that, I'm gonna click 4K, and then you can see once I click 4K, it goes to enabled. Once it's enabled, you can press on the shutter button and it will take you back to the home screen. Now we can move on to step number five. Step number five is to have the correct shutter speed. So you want your shutter speed to be about 15 seconds. That's the sweet spot that I usually like to use. It's a long shutter speed, but you can just scroll this dial until you see 15 seconds. Not to be confused with one over 15, which is 1 15th of a second. So you wanna to go to 15 seconds and then you're ready for step six. Step six is to test. What you can do to test when your camera is on your tripod pointed in the direction you want is press down on the shutter button. Your camera will take a photo and then you can go and look at the photo. You wanna make all the changes to individual photos before you start the time lapse. If it doesn't look bright enough, you can adjust the ISO a little bit higher, or you can change the shutter speed to be a little bit higher too. Then, once you've done all that, you're ready to start recording. The way you're gonna do that is press the record button on top of the camera, and then press the shutter button. It will automatically start going. Every 20 seconds, it will take a photo, and it will take 3,600 photos. So leave it out for a few hours, and come back, and you'll have an awesome video. If this video is helpful to you, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and I will see you in the next one.